guys welcome to code bandit in this tutorial we will see how to integrate angular js with mvc asp.net so let's begin with the project i have already created this demo application uh, which is quite a very simple application it consists of a single controller home controller uh, which has its default action index uh, which will return this home view which is located in the home folder here in the views and with the model student now here is the student object that we are getting student is equal to get student and this is the data we are filling in the student object and the same data will be visible to us in the browser so let us have a look at this view if you see this view we are rendering using the traditional mvc asp.net technique we are uh, importing this model here uh, by this syntax at the rate model and its namespace with its class and you can see this is the label and at the rate model dot name at model dot surname at model dot address and this is the traditional MVC technique the way we are rendering view using razor and you can see at the end we are you importing home dot js we are rendering home dot js script currently this is empty which will be required for the next step of angular so this is it guys and in the script section we have uh, we have imported jquery and global.js now what is global.js we'll see uh, first let us have a quick view of the project how it will be rendered i'll start this okay there is a breakpoint so guys you can see that the view has been rendered using normal asp m mvc asp.net rendering now let's move towards angular how to render the same view using angular uh, that means that we'll be integrating angular with mvc asp.net okay so in google just write download angular js and you will get this first link angularjs.org click on it then download angular js you will get this pop up and click on download so browser will ask whether to keep or discard just keep it and you will get this file now what you need to do is open this file and include it in your script folder so paste it in this folder and just remove the mean so name it as only angular.js i have already included this file and the next thing that you need to do is go in app start bundle config and include the angular js file just below the jquery okay and what is global.js now each and every application has some global or application specific event so my application specific event i have written in this global.js file which will have events across the application now if you guys are doing any project uh, you may have noticed certain condition that some events are needed across the application so you you may have created some file which may be application specific similarly i have named it as global.js so guys we have included we have downloaded the angular js file we have included it here and similarly we have also written it here now the application uh, angular file will be actually loaded into the application so let us now create an angular app okay moving here in layout i have already done it so what you need to do is declare a div before and outside this render body section and you need to declare ng app and some name to the app whatever you want currently i have given it as my app okay so this is the first step now moving towards the home page now i'll remove all this because we have to render it using angular js so i'll remove this razor syntax at the rate model at the rate model dot address at the rate model dot mobile i'll remove this and we also need to remove this one include model okay now let's go to global dot js well we will be creating global angular application and it will be as var app is equal to angular dot module and the name of your application the name of our application is my app comma 
this one so we have created a global application now let's move towards home.cshtml as we have declared application now we are writing the code for controller so first of all we need to declare the controller now i'll take this entire table in a div i'll declare a div outside a table and now the entire table is in a div and we'll give an attribute here ng controller equal to my controller okay guys so the name of our control is my controller now let's write the angular script for it now as you can see guys at the end i have included this home.js which is right here so let's write our angular script in home.js now as you know that this file is global and this variable app is accessible anyway in the application so i'll access it here app dot controller and the name of our controller is my my controller let's verify it i'll copy this controller and i'll paste it here comma function now we need to inject two things here scope and dollar http so these are the two things that we'll be needing okay guys so as soon as our page will load that is home page will load it will call the script file and whatever we write in this app dot controller that thing will be executed and what we need to do is as soon as our page will load we'll give a call to controller okay so we write dollar http get dot get and our url will be home controller and get student dot then function this is our response this is where we'll be getting our data and it's complete so let's move to the controller section controller and if you guys see now the reason is uh, whenever we we'll call this home controller by default at the beginning when the application start it will call this action and if you see when we were rendering the view using the normal mvc asp.net technique we need to also send the model but now as we are using angular angular will give its call to get the data so we don't require this so we will not require this thing and now if you see in home controller we are giving call to get student which is in home controller now we need to convert this into json result the return type should be json result and we'll return here json and the json behavior should be allow get so guys we have written it and now let's move towards the home js where we'll be logging it into the console the result that we get console dot log and response when we'll give a call to this controller we'll get a result here and we'll be logging this result just to verify that the code that we have written is working or not and i'll also put a breakpoint here so let's start debugging So guys you can see that the breakpoint is hit because as soon as the page is loaded we will get this action and you can see that we have got a breakpoint here so i just press f5 and you can see that the data is available in the console now if you see here the data that we have got we have logged the response object and within the response object our data is present in this data keyword address mobile name and surname okay we have got this now let us assign the obtained data to the scope so moving on to visual studio and this home.js so as you see we have logged this and now we will be appending this to scope dot student equal to press dot 
data because our data is actually present in this one okay now it is necessary to render the view using angular js so i'll expand it and in front of name in td which we have deleted before we need to write it in expression student dot name now why student because if you see home dot js we have binded the data to this student variable in the scope so whatever we write here in view it should be student dot okay so i'll copy the same i'll paste it here and again the surname will be similarly student dot surname the keyword should be same as they are declared in the model so student dot address actually the keywords are same that i've written here so i'll copy this again and i'll paste it here student dot mobile okay i'm pasting it back now let us refresh so i'll press control f5 and guys see here is the breakpoint and at the same time if you see browser there is nothing here but as soon as we return the result let's go to browser you can see that the data is logged as we have also logged the data and in the view you can see the result john doe street and yeah mobile number because we have rendered the view using angular js this is the way to render a view there is no model included we have just given an http call and the data is rendered so guys this is how the angular js is to be integrated in mbcasp.net do not forget to subscribe the channel keep enjoying keep studying thank you